All right, so you can see it is in bad shape. <laughs> really uh, damaged. So I'm going to, I've been trying with baking soda and scraping. I cannot get this out. It's really, really hard. So today we're going to try a brush, a wire brush, see if we can't do some work on it. It's solid aluminum, so hopefully I don't damage it. All right, as you can see, we are seasoning the cooker again. As you could tell, severely burnt. So this video is going to be pretty long. It goes through the entire process from when we uh, did the cook to the entire cleaning process up until now where we're re-seasoning it ready for use again. So there's some bookmarks, uh, chapters in it. You can jump forward or you can just sit back, enjoy the whole experience and uh, see what the evening was like and then what the entire cleaning process was. The um, evening was with Jerry and his wife near Grand Rapids in Rockford, Michigan. I worked with him in Afghanistan at Bagram. We're both air traffic controllers, or, or were. He's a teacher of air traffic now, and I'm retired after almost 40 years. Um, so we were just having a good time. We had really built this up so that we had convinced them that this was going to be the best meal ever because we've had two successful cooks with it, and um, we did not put enough water in it. So we just burned the crap out of it. And uh, it was quite the ordeal to get it cleaned. I honestly, when I brought it home, was not certain that we could even get it cleaned. But through uh, some hard work and uh, just a, a lot of elbow grease, we are able to get it back in shape. So come along with us uh, or jump forward as you choose. Skip around, see what it is, and uh, just don't do this yourself. Okay, here we go. All right, fire. We'll be putting that Afghan cooker on this thing. It'll be nice. Yes, sir, indeed. It's nice because. It's yeah, nice and we sit out here and enjoy the evening. We just mostly. I got over here for you guys. Blowing away the from us, the wind mostly. Blow away from you. The wind has been prevailing northeasterly. Hmm. And plus you get the little table there. Oh, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to cook venison tonight. Nice. I've never um, tried the venison. Jerry's Deer Processing. So it's even got your name on it. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Venison tender. Oh, a tenderloin too. Nice. Yeah, I actually have Sirloin. Sirloin. Two round steaks. Nice. Wow. That's yeah. the only sirloin I have left. I have two rounds and I've got potatoes. Spoons, so. And we're going to use Mama Cita's Caldereta spicy sauce mix. No, it's not. Uh, is it spicy? I, I, don't, the, I don't think it's yeah, that spicy. No. Tomato. Let's Spit see. Down. What has it got in here? Spices. There's no peppers in it, so I. No. It's not spicy. No. 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 Lee, no. Lee, Lee reminds me, I was going to ask if you wanted to have that champagne. Marie, do you no, like no, champagne? the one that we bought? Yeah. No, no, that's for you guys to I do something later. Okay. No, you save that for you. Well, we're, I would say we'll save it for if the Lions win a football game, but <laughs> yeah. then we won't get to drink it. So yeah, we'll have not to, before we we'll die. We'll have to pick another, <laughs> yeah, another thing. You know what? This Should, is mine? That's yours. Oh, nice. Maria, would you like uh, one of those Schmiroffs? Okay. Yeah. No, no. I think they're later. 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 Okay. Later. Okay. Later. Okay. Um, what we should do is open up the uh, dip and yeah, okay. yeah. maybe uh -oh. slice the cheese, huh? We've got the, uh, not only are we doing the venison afghan cook, but we've got Captain Ron's smoked fish dip. Seriously smoked white fish. Captain Ron yeah. looked like a pretty cool guy. He was. And then we've got some cheese Ooh, with uh, cranberries in it. Yeah. All right. Get another board out and cut those out. Uh, I just need a, uh, what's it called? Ah, no. What you need, honey? I just wanted to put it directly here. Yeah, just put them in there. Let's throw them in there. Uh-oh, potatoes. Little purple potatoes, nice. Those are going to be good, honey. Yeah, I just 
put them all in there probably. Hmm? Yeah, why not? Let's just cook it all up. They can have their leftovers. Carrots? Nope. This is the last of the organic ones. I've never seen one that's um, purple on the out and yellow on the inside. That's a carrot, eh? Yeah. It's um, organic. organic. What are they? A French? I think, I don't know, we got them at Meyer. It was a little bunch of organic carrots. Uh -huh. I didn't notice that they were yellow inside. That's interesting. And then we bought a bunch of uh, the small potatoes today. So, you know, we got a couple of bigger carrots. And we, one thing we noticed is that uh, the first time we did it, we cut the carrots, you know, and cubed them up, oh, yeah. and they cook down to like nothing. You oh, can't hardly even notice them. So this time, small. yeah, it's because of the pressure cooker thing. Really, now the potatoes come out perfect like this. Mm -hmm. the They'll be more. Yeah, just put them all in there, honey. We got plenty of room. Looking good. It's a pile of vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna go out and we'll have another cracker and dip, and then I'm gonna go out and. Probably add some wood to the fire, trying to get holes mm -hmm. okay. established. Oh, yeah. Now, I have these to... for my girl's yep. wine. And then here's another one, if you need it. If you don't need it, I think this is enough. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Yeah, this is enough. Is that full enough, Lee, or you want it right to the rim? Right to the rim. I'm not going to do it because then the, the floor will be wearing it. Yeah. The floor's already wore my coffee. Did that wake you guys up this morning? No. Not at all. So that silver cup was full without the lid. And the lid was on the green one. So I generally drink the silver one on the drive down. And then I drink the green one at work. So Don't put the Thai chilies in for them. Be too hot. Yeah. So under this. Which ones are the Thai chilies? The red? Oh, I see them. Yeah, we brew them. Yeah. We had a bush full of them at home. Oh, really? We um, made a... Um, Filipino spice vinegar with them. Mm -hmm. It's basically like half peppers blended with mm -hmm. vinegar, spiced vinegar. It's hot. <laughs> have you made any progress? <laughs> no? <laughs> do, I, do you have a can of yes. vinegar? Yes, uh, yeah. Some tomato paste. Uh, one down. Did you put the whole thing of seasoning in? No, not. All right. I gotta open the meat up and trim it a little. Yes. Yep. So I will do that. I think you don't need to trim just. Well, yeah, I get you. And wrong. and those are actually pieces when you get them out of the bag, okay. except for the tenderloins. Mm. That's one tenderloin cut in half. Mm -hmm. And the tenderloin usually, well, they don't make it out of deer camp. Oh, okay. Uh, because those are on the inside. So once you've cleaned the deer, they get cooked like and eaten. They're just up. Uh, and then the second best part of the deer, I don't have any of that left, I would share, is the back strap, and that's the filet mignon. Oh, okay. And on a, a, a typical deer, uh, the back strap is about that big around. It's not perfectly round. It's about that long. Oh. It tapers at the ends. So if you that's, get quite a bit. It's more filet mignon than the beef. I don't know about, I don't know how much there is on the beef, but it's quite a bit. Oh. I mean, it's Four good meals wow. of filet, mm -hmm. and it's and it is so tender. It's just like beef filet mm -hmm. mignon. So you've added um, how much tomato paste? This will be a bit. couple of spoonfuls. Yeah. That's, That's it? it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're using um, mm -hmm. half of the packet, right? Same as same thing we did with the other stuff. And then, uh, mm, I'm going to a little bit more on top of the meat. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And um, one onion, or did you add two? No, one onion. By the fire and watch the sun get low. All right. A little yeah. venison. First time. Yeah. What the hell, what the hell? Courtesy of Jerry. This, Jerry's deer processing. This was a five point buck. Mm. Uh, How long ago did you kill this one? November. Yeah. 17th of 19th. 
Oh, nice. Oh, my. Is, it's been a while. This is the last of him. Oh, okay. Uh, la the deer from last year is gone. Oh, okay. The, the steak, not the burger. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. this was then behind that. You know, I should be more. Mm. I should be better at. This is too much. No, I, it only needs to. It can yeah, be three quarters a, full. It'll be fine. Enough, no, I don't, I don't know that we need no. this other pack. I, we just plus need this water. pack looks like it might have a little bit of a freezer burn on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's probably enough meat. I think so. Too yeah. much. So, no, I just too stir much? some. Sure, no. He might want you to take off some meat. Oh, you no, yeah, no, no. Whatever no. you want. No. Whatever you want. Leave it the way. Leave it the way it is. It's fine. <laughs> we had some water. We got room for the steam. It's we're yeah. in good shape. Okay. Yep. Okay. So we're in good shape. Maybe sprinkle a little bit more seasoning on top. Yep. And uh, water. A little bit of water. That's it. Let's not put too much in this time. Yeah. Are um, you on? You don't want ah later on. I don't want to have a, wants. I don't want it to be so stewy. I want it to be you know more of the vegetable. Yes, but, uh, okay. Didn't need to do any trimming. Who said that? I think that was Maria. No, don't do that. Right. <laughs> no trimming. And right, done. What? Oh, they like onion too. I don't know. You want? Okay. We can put the other. Just put it on top. Okay. Yeah. Afterwards? It'll be nice. Yes. Alright. Maria has her fashionable hat on from Paris. <laughs> Parisian hat, eh? Custom made from some um, hat maker. Okay, done. All right, done. Yeah, no, that's a good, okay. All right, so now we need the top. You want to seal her up, Jerry? Surely. I'll let you be the, the man that seals it. Master sealer. <laughs> master. I can say that. Master of something. <laughs> master of the two of you, master of speed. Master of my domain. <laughs> Are you ready, that Marie? You're, you uh, done your you're the you're the master of yeah, your domain as long as Lee says you are. Oh yeah, that that's, is not going to ever happen. Oh yes, that's correct. Very much, very good. You lined it properly. Thank you. Very good. Like like I you knew a, almost like good, you knew what you were doing. I had a good teacher. Excellent. He was kind of a hard ass over there, but eventually he came okay. around. I deserved it, but. Alrighty. I hated training over there. Uh, I hated training everywhere. Yeah, well, true, but I'm more over there. Alright, fire's getting close. Smells good. Sunset on the lake. Venison cooked in an Afghan pressure cooker. Sitting at Jerry's. Living the dream. <laughs> you know, in in Dubai, people would say, "How you doing, Brian?" I'd say, "I'm living the dream." Now, I think I think now I th I think now I might actually be living the dream. I'm not sure if there I was, but this might be the dream. Just keep buttering me up. Yes, please. I don't know. Can you get yes, me? Please. Can you get me some more wine? You can you get me some more wine also, honey? Okay. Here. Do you want help, Maria? <laughs> ah, all right. There we go. Cook it now. Soon the start to bubble and the steam will start coming out. We're 45 minutes from when it steams. So I'm guessing we might have that by seven because it'll take a little bit of time, you know, to get it heated up in there. But that's a nice hot fire.
Yes. You can uh, videotape for me. All right. Yeah. Too much light. Nice. Careful. Oof. Oh yeah, there's a little pressure there. <laughs> Ooh. Can I break this in half? The the stick? Stick? Yeah, you could if you pulled very hard. Or, no, I'm oh, saying oh, you're yeah, okay go ahead. with it. Yeah, it's just going to be kindling at some point. Okay. Other one. Faster. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. I can smell it now. <laughs> You're gonna be I'll smelly. Smell like it. <laughs> It'll be like just going, just going in the defac on base yeah. with all that curry. <laughs> yeah. Your clothes would smell like curry. Oh, there's yeah. a fighter. Oh, see him? He survived it. See him right there? What? I don't see him. I don't see. Oh, down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's coming for me. Let's see how he likes sand. <laughs> oh, my. That came loose. He wasn't that crazy about it. Huh? I popped it all the way off. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I actually think it might be low enough. We can okay. pop the seal. Careful. Is it already? There you go. There was a little pressure. I saw that lid rise up. The ingenious contraption, isn't it? Right? Yeah. And the survey says. And then lift away. Yeah. Um, oh my, it's really cooked down, honey. I told you, you don't have any more, I know. Not enough water, huh? I told you, that's why. You're gonna be great. No, I doubt. I, I think doubt. it's 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 dried up. Oh, it's tender as crap, honey. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's dried up. It's, you're gonna eat it, and you're gonna well, love it. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> Man, you definitely need you more water. Oh, it's burned on the sides a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we definitely needed. Oh, it's this is a little tough. Hmm. Oh, it's tough like leather there. <laughs> All right, this may be a fail. Get our. Or maybe well, the fire is so hot. This one's so hot that. Uh, that could be. You know, you were at much higher temps probably with that bonfire. Nah, I told you that when there is less steam, it means to mm. say it's no more water on that. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Seems like it'd be too hot to eat. I think it's hot. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as before. This may not be the most successful. <coughs> and because it's burned. <laughs> you see it but it's one, it's one of the most fun cooks we've had in a long time. Yeah, we've never and that had counts it. For, <laughs> that counts for a lot. It does. It was entertaining. And, um, they, uh, they look like sweet potatoes. They do. Yeah, what is that? A, the potato. Oh, it's definitely potato overcooked. Do you... you you tried it. I mean, Jerry can try it. I'll try it when we get inside and it's not a thousand degrees. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it's still pretty tender. So give, give the tender stuff to the to the women. I told and you. And we'll just pretend it's a steak. It's one of the steaks on Friday nights at Bagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's still hot. Right. Well, we'll just bring it in. Yep. Okay. Okay. So what what we can order in a restaurant now? <laughs> we we'll get a pizza. We we'll get a pizza. <laughs> if you hold that up, I can. That's that, why I always say. That I is so new. funny. I say if you don't like it, we'll order pizza. That's what I say every time. Well, we cooked it less, and we still failed. This is the first time we failed, though. I guess eventually you gotta fail. I no. I told you it must be more water. How many years am I going to have to listen to this? To <laughs> oh, a whole lot more, Bob. Oh, what would you say, 52? <laughs> yeah, about... I'm going to back up. About 45 more. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll never hear this the end of this. He's way too healthy, though. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> back to the old days, guys. This yeah, is a I'm, Bagram meal. This is fail. <laughs> that means hard as a rock. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you could really, um, you could really sole your shoe with this stuff. I'm glad I'm not very hungry. 
you're happy. You're, you keep on saying, oh, that's so good. That's good. And then now it's It's tough. Um, oh I want to find a purple carrot. Oh, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Where's the purple carrot? Here's a piece of venison. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, this one. Yeah, big piece. This one, this one. That's your tender one. <laughs> no, no, this is tender. your tender one. You're going to take the whole tender one. That might be as close to venison as you get. <laughs> this is your tender one. Yeah. We yeah. cut that tender yeah. one to yeah. shit, man. Let me have this piece so that I can tell you what venison tastes like. Oh my goodness. We took we took the best cut and cooked the shit out of it. And it's still the best in there. Oh my Yeah, everybody get a little bit of that. It's the best in there, which doesn't say much, right? Yeah, you can no longer tell it's venison. It could be beef, it could be mm. pig, it could be <laughs> this, um, lamb. What they call it's this? Venison. It's, it's venison. Oh, you can tell? Oh I yeah. <laughs> Of course yeah. you can. It's tasty. <laughs> if you put um, like a bunch of some kind of steak sauce on it and <laughs> tried to rehydrate it. All right. I'm looking for a piece of carrot. <clears throat> oh, my. Well, the carrots and the potatoes are the same color now because we cooked the potatoes so long. No, nope, that was meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That might be right there. Yeah. I think that's carrot. I actually got a, a, a fairly tender bite of meat, small but tasty. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Well, okay. Call, call now the pizza. Yeah. I guess call the pizza people and we'll pay for a pizza. That's probably the best thing we could do at this point. All right, so you can see it is in bad shape. <laughs> really uh, damage so I'm gonna I've been trying with baking soda and scraping I cannot get this out it's really really hard so today we're gonna try a brush a wire brush see if we can't do some work on it it's solid aluminum so hopefully I don't damage it but I don't see any other options uh, I've also got something coming called bartender's friend which may help in the end clean it up I also have already, I think, cleaned up the lid pretty well. It's in good shape. And uh, there was some... Here you can see. This was kind of dirty as well. Maybe still a little bit. I can still do a little bit more here. But uh, the holes are not clogged or anything. So... We will see. Hopefully, uh, the cook did not destroy the thing, but it's, uh, like I said, it's in pretty bad shape. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit. It's hard to see, but those ridges are thick. Um, eighth of an inch thick, maybe, of burned material, and then the sides are all cooked, you can see. So, if you want to know what not to do, don't do a 45 minute cook on a hot fire with not enough water and <laughs> it's not turning out well i've decided that i'm going to use some wire brushes i tried this one out first it's a little bit different uh, i find it a little harder to control in it it wants to like spin around inside the bowl so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this one it's uh you can see it's just a flat wire brush and I put it on an extension so I can get down in there with the drill um, using a cordless drill. And uh, it seems to be working. Basically, you can see it's still goopy, but it is working. So it's eating up the, uh, the thick part. And then I'm going to rinse it out every once in a while here after I do a little bit. And then I think in the end, I'll end up using the um, cleaner, the bartender's friend. But this is definitely helping. Because it was 
quarter of an inch thick on the bottom. You just couldn't penetrate it with anything. This is definitely making it much easier. And since it's solid aluminum and it was just brushed on the inside, I think it'll be okay in the end. We'll just re-season it one more time after we're done finally getting the thing clean. So, after just a minute or two, so you can see the big chunks seem to be kind of gone. Um, first pass with it, it's turned it to goop. So now I'm going to go rinse it and let's see if we've made some progress. We may have to do this a couple of times to get it, um, you know, clean, but it'll be worth it. Salvage the pot. Oh yeah, that much better already. So you can see it's doing pretty good, but as you can see, it's a lot of work if you burn it bad like that. So my recommendation is make sure you put enough water in it. So you can see, even as you're working, it's coming clean. So, alright, enough of that. I'll uh, continue onward, and I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so one other step I wanted to do to try. It's pretty clean inside, but I'm still going to scrub it um, with that bartender's friend that was recommended to me. It's supposed to be really good for removing stains and things. But I wanted, I had noticed that the... Um, these were very dirty inside, so I thought some clean steam might be good for them. So I am um, letting just clean water in it, there's nothing in there, just blow through it. Maybe the boiling will also help release some of the uh, grime in it. It's almost clean though, doing really well. So, it finished boiling, it's cooled off. Now, oh, look at that. I think that must be some of the burnt stuff boiled out of it. And the top is uh, much cleaner than it was to start with, so it's looking very good. I'm super happy with this. So let's rinse it off, is this hot? No, that's not too bad. All right, so we're going to carry this out. It's got a kind of a tarnished look to it now. So I will scrub it with the stuff tomorrow, and then we'll season it again. I think some of that white could have been the... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's baking soda that cooked out of it that I had scrubbed in there, but it's definitely uh, looks much better. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, Kazan cooker is getting clean, getting better, but now it has some tarnish in it and some um, final residue, I think, after brushing. Uh, the top has come pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. And what I got is by recommendation is this barkeeper's friend, this one. And you'll like my pink gloves. They're a loan from Maria. Um, barkeeper's friend, it's good for stainless steel, ceramic, porcelain, supposed to be good on cookware. And they recommended when you bought it to get these uh, scrubbing sponges. Uh, so we're gonna see. We have a nice sparkly blue sponge. And here, as you can see, it's not Looks, it doesn't look like aluminum as much as it did. It has kind of a gray cast to it now. So I want to see if we can't get the rest of the black, little tiny bit of black out of there in the bottom and get it to look like it did before. So we're going to scrub on it a little bit with this and see how it goes. Let's see. 
Let's check it out. And we have a big problem, so we'll just squirt a good amount in there. And then we'll start in the bottom. And show kind of in the Wow, pink and blue. It's like a mermaid. That's right. <laughs> nice. Hmm. is looking better I think. Let me do one more batch of scrubbing in here. It says not to leave it very long. I think it will etch the metal. But it's um, Oh, the black's pretty much gone. But some of it's gone. Oh, yeah. Definitely better. No, the gray is nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. but most of the black, there's only a tiny bit. I think let's do one more batch of scrubbing in here. I don't know that we need it. We'll see. hurt to over scrub. Why are you not cleaning under? It's just a burnt. I don't, I, don't I, care. For me, I do. <laughs> okay. I'll we'll clean it a little bit then. Alright. Well, yeah. so that's not coming out, but maybe that's just that's, know, the, that's the uh, that's probably the oxidation just yeah. from it being used mm. so next I'm going to just put a little bit of dish soap in it just to clean this out and then we'll re-season it and we'll be good to go I think right okay welcome to the final part of this entire ordeal we are now going to re-season the uh, Afghan Kazan uh, cooker and then I believe we should be good to go so let's just quick take a quick look at it. We're not going to go through the whole process, but I'll just show you what we're doing again. So we are going to cook it for five minutes or more once it gets up to heat. Um, again, four ounces of oil and a big onion, and that's it. And let it cook for about five minutes or so. I oiled the entire inside. One tip they said is you can re-oil this um, rubber gasket. It fits in this part of the lid. And um, after this, well, you can see it's gray, but that's just aluminum. I think that's just normal use. But I got all the black out of it. It um, smells normal. So put the uh, seal back in the lid. All right, so we're going to put this on there. It's like we're all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Uh, four ounces of oil, an onion. Um, if you first get the cooker, you want to wash it, get all the dirt and grindings out of it. And if you're re-seasoning it for some reason, just wash it first and then put four ounces of um, canola oil or something like that, a high heat oil in it. Um, probably not olive oil, but any of the others, corn oil, whatever. One big onion chopped up a little bit. And then uh, once it gets up to uh, heat, 
and uh, let it cook for about five minutes and then that reseasons it and it'll be good to go. We've got one actual cook, the very first cook we did, should be up by the time you see this. It's uh, rendering now. And I have one more cook that we did on the back of our pickup and that one will be up after this. Uh, that one turned out well as well. That was really good. We did uh, pork and uh, we cooked it on the tailgate on a uh, burner much like this one, the, um, except it's small, uh, a portable one, a portable uh, butane burner, and it worked fine. Um, cooked for about an hour and uh, everything turned out great. So again, just make sure you put plenty of water in it and do not go through the uh, massive ordeal that I had to go through. Uh, it's like, I don't know how many hours I've spent cleaning and scrubbing on this thing, uh, plus the worry that it was you know, gonna be ruined completely. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this and uh, learned something from it and do not repeat what we did. So if you have any suggestions or comments, let us know and uh, take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.